Planet Dolan. Who took down some of the biggest websites in the world on a dare when he was 15? Who got his home raided by a tactical FBI team at the age of 14? These are some of the youngest hackers that have ever been found. I'm Pringle the One, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 15. Sci-Fi is a 10-year-old girl who was bored with the snail-like pace of farming sim games, so she found exploits in the way the game tracks time. The exploit was known as a zero-day exploit because she gave developers zero days to react to. In other words, she found the exploit before the developers even knew it existed. Number 14. At the age of 11, Ruben Paul addressed a cybersecurity audience with a teddy bear. Using a Raspberry Pi, he hacked an internet and Bluetooth enabled teddy bear and downloaded a bunch of numbers from the people in the audience. In addition to being an accomplished hacker, Ruben is the youngest American to ever become a black belt in Shaolin Kung Fu. So while he's hacking your phones, he's probably kicking your ass. Number 13. Betsy Davis is a 7 year old and after watching a video tutorial, it took her exactly 10 minutes and 54 seconds to hack a public Wi-Fi network. This was done as a part of a demonstration about how embarrassingly easy it is to exploit a public Wi-Fi network with a man in the middle attack. In under 11 minutes, Betsy completed a hack that would have allowed her to monitor every single device on that network. Number 12. Nicholas Allegra is best known for his jailbreak me tools for iOS operating systems. At age 19, he figured out not only how to jailbreak iPhones and iPads, but how to mass produce the process to make it usable by non-hackers. Consequently, Apple hired him as a security expert, and then they let him go. He immediately caught back on with Google to work on Android. Number 11. When the iPhone first came out, it was exclusive to the AT&T network in the United States. So if you didn't have AT&T as your carrier, no iPhone for you. George Hotz, better known as GeoHot, decided to do something about that. At age 17, he engineered his iPhone to work with T-Mobile, thereby creating the world's first unlocked iPhone. History in the making. Number 10. Tim Berners-Lee isn't really famous for being an internet hacker. He's famous for the internet itself. He invented the World Wide Web in 1989, but he's a white hat hacker at his core. As a student, he got himself banned from university computer access at Oxford after he had hacked server access for himself. Before that, he created his first computer with an old television, an M6800 processor, and a soldering iron. Number 9. Kevin Mitnick began his hacking career as a teenager hacking everything from multinational corporations to a McDonald's drive through speaker. He was caught and sent to prison in the 1990s for five years. Several months of that sentence was spent in solitary confinement because the judge feared that he would be able to start a nuclear war if he whistled into a telephone the right way. Judges don't really understand how hacking works. Number 8. Seven Jashan was 17 years old when he created the Sasser Worm, which exploited a vulnerability in Windows 2000 and Windows XP. That worm did millions of dollars in damages, including a number of cancelled flights with Delta Airlines, whose computers were overtaken with the worm. Number 7. Richard Price was a 16-year-old student getting a D in his computer science class when he earned a reputation as the Data Stream Cowboy. <laughs> the British teen used an underpowered computer in his bedroom to hack systems at NASA and US Air Force bases. His activities were considered to have done more damage than the KGB, and at one point, he was considered the top threat to US security by the Pentagon. Number 6. The fact that Matthew Wigman was a young hacker is one of the least noteworthy things about him. He became one of the most accomplished phone con men alive by the time he was about 17, and he's blind. It's not the same type of hacking you'd expect to see, but he has still used his memory and manipulative powers to infiltrate the upper levels of a number of major organizations. Number 5. Michael Kelsey, better known as Mafia Boy, once took down Yahoo, eBay, Amazon, CNN, and a host of other websites when he was 15, and he basically did it on a dare. He was eventually caught and pled guilty to 56 charges related to his hacking activities. Number 4. In 2000, Jonathan James became the first juvenile to be sentenced to serve time for hacking. He hacked the US Department of Defense and NASA, downloading files and shutting down some computers for as much as 3 weeks at a time. Had he been an adult when he did it, instead of 16 years old, he would have served over 10 years in prison. Instead, he got 6 months in juvenile hall. Number 3. When James Costa was 13, he had a computer business pulling in $1,500 a month and an 18-year-old girlfriend. His parents tried to get him to give up on his business and his girlfriend and concentrate on school, so he took them to court and won the right to live independently off them. At age 14, he was arrested for illegal hacking in an FBI raid. 
After his release, he worked for the FBI and now runs a successful video game studio. Number 2 Because of Canada's youth protection laws, we don't know the name or identity of the 12 year old in question here, but in 2012, this boy attacked several websites belonging to the Canadian government as a part of Anonymous. He apparently also collected data from those sites, which he exchanged for video games. He was 14 when he pled guilty to the charges, making him the youngest hacker to be charged in Canada. These hackers need to start sending money over here. It's about that time I get paid. Number 1 It's hard to say if Christopher Von Hassel is some sort of freak prodigy or if he's just lucky, but he found a back door past the lock screen on his dad's phone when he was just a year old. Then, when he was 5, he bypassed the parental lock on his dad's Xbox, exposing a critical security exploit just by putting in blank spaces. Microsoft added the boy to their list of security researchers. They gave him $50, 4 free games, and a year of Xbox Live for his troubles. You will definitely find this guy in the next Call of Duty calling you something messed up. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.